everyone, and welcome back to Ant's Family Recipe. Today I'm sharing three easy recipes using cinnamon rolls. Today's video was inspired by the recent viral TikTok video about cinnamon rolls. Basically, you take Grand's canned cinnamon rolls and then pour heavy cream over them and butter and sugar and more cinnamon, and then they're supposed to taste like homemade, super fluffy and moist. I have a hot take about this one, so I'll tell you about that in a minute. I'm also sharing a very easy hack for how to make cinnamon rolls any day of the week, super fast. And lastly, I'm sharing a super tasty fall dessert. First up is the viral TikTok recipe for the ultimate canned cinnamon rolls. I started with two cans of the Pillsbury Grands cinnamon rolls, and that's a key ingredient to this recipe. You wanna go with the Grands style of cinnamon rolls. Now, how do you open your can of biscuits or crescent rolls or cinnamon rolls? You can use a spoon or do you whack it on the side of your counter? I chose to do both today just to demonstrate for you. You'll also notice that I set aside both containers of frosting and I just left those out on the counter at room temperature so that they would be easier to spread once the cinnamon rolls had baked. Next, I generously sprayed my 9 by 13 inch glass baking dish with baking spray and then I placed all 10 of the cinnamon rolls inside. Next, I measured out one cup of heavy whipping cream and poured that evenly all over the tops of the cinnamon rolls. And the idea here is that it's going to make them extra moist and fluffy and also make a little bit of a gooey sauce at the bottom of the pan too. Then I melted one stick of unsalted butter and to that I added a half a cup of brown sugar and one tablespoon of cinnamon and then whisked that together until it was evenly incorporated. Then I poured this mixture all over the top. Then I covered the pan tightly with foil and baked these at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. You could definitely start checking these a little bit sooner than 45 minutes, but you just wanna make sure that those cinnamon buns in the middle are cooked through. Once they've baked, uncover the cinnamon rolls and then allow them to cool for about five to 10 minutes before spreading the frosting all over top. So like I mentioned earlier, these really do taste incredible. However, in my mind and to my taste buds, these are not traditional cinnamon rolls. On TikTok, everyone's saying, if you bring these to a brunch, everybody's gonna think that you made these from scratch. And with the heavy cream, it just doesn't taste like a classic cinnamon roll. I think it's kind of an unusual, unique ingredient. It gives it a good taste, but not a traditional taste. I think just a pool of butter and cinnamon sugar is more traditional with a cinnamon roll. Now the heavy cream does provide an incredible texture to these canned cinnamon rolls, and it does make a nice sauce, but like I said, the taste of the heavy cream is not a standard flavor to go with the cinnamon rolls, and I would prefer just a more buttery sauce. So I would recommend making these, but don't think that you're gonna get a classic cinnamon roll. It's a little bit of a twist on the original. But you can see here, this is super fluffy and gooey and really does taste delicious. If you want to cook canned cinnamon rolls really fast, I'm talking so fast you could do this on a busy school morning, I just did this a couple days ago actually, use your waffle maker. This is my favorite hack that I use all the time with canned cinnamon roll dough. So I set mine at level four, that's kind of where I usually make regular waffles and it works perfectly for this dough. I spray it lightly with baking spray on the bottom and top and then I place four cinnamon rolls in at a time and I kind of keep them a little bit closer closer to the center, just so that the edges are covered by the waffle maker too. They don't ooze out the sides. And then I just let this cook until it beeps, and the tops and bottoms will be nice and crispy and golden, and the edges will be fluffy, 
but they shouldn't be raw anymore. They should be cooked as well. And I just use a fork to pull these off of the waffle maker and then drizzle the frosting over top. These have a wonderful texture. It takes just minutes to make. And just in general, you can use your waffle maker to cook so many foods quickly. But I highly recommend this cooking method for your canned cinnamon rolls. Last up is this apple pie cinnamon roll bake. It's very easy to put together for a little weeknight dessert, but it's also kind of fancy enough that you could entertain with too. So I'm just making half of a batch today. I took one can of cinnamon rolls and quartered them with my kitchen scissors, and I just tossed them into a little nine by nine glass baking dish that I had sprayed with baking spray. You could also use a glass pie dish, which you'll see some images, I use that as well. Next, I melted two tablespoons of salted butter and drizzled that over top. Then I sprinkled some extra cinnamon over top, probably about a half a teaspoon or so. Then I opened up a can of store-bought apple pie filling and scooped out half of it over top of the cinnamon rolls. You could also experiment with other flavors of pie filling. I think cherry or blueberry would be delicious here. And then lastly, I stirred everything together. This bakes at 375 degrees for about a half an hour. And when it came out of the oven, I drizzled the frosting over top. And then to serve this, I scooped some into a bowl and topped it with vanilla ice cream. And everybody in my family loved this. I will say that the apple pie filling is quite sweet. So a little bit of this dessert goes a long way. And I really do recommend adding the ice cream on the side. All three of these recipes are awesome. Let me know in the comments which of these cinnamon roll hacks you're gonna try out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can follow me over on Instagram at Anne's Family Recipe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked my cinnamon roll hacks today. Thank you so much for joining me here in my kitchen and I'll see you again soon.